I need some motherfuckers wiped out. You let the boys downstairs, Angelou. It's what they're getting paid for. I ain't come here to watch someone else. Big fuck over there. Down before you get there. Bury that cocksucker, just like we said. Be careful, yeah. I ain't the one you need to be worried about. Motherfuckers can't protect you, Georgie. It's over. Targets have got to go. You oh, won't stop that that soon. Play. Motherfucker before. Targets have got to go. Nothing. On our way. Get your ass down, motherfucker. Fuck me. I'm bleeding. Oh, gonna fillet you. None of us are bulletproof, dipshit. I gotta go. Nothing. Oh, sure. On our way. <laughs> These sad some bitches is killing me. Who's got shells? I can't fucking move. Get him to fuck off me. Yeah, fucking We're getting our asses kicked. Heading for cover. 
He's fucking dropping us! Our blood's gone down! He's got us now! Been dead fucking oi. Targets have got to go. Not dead. On our way. I need a resupply. I'll head your way now. Anything you want here? Show me what you got. Guess what? Call me if you need me. I need some motherfuckers wiped out. Whoa, you got it. Shoot. We'll be around Man, shortly. You let the boys downstairs handle this. It's what they're getting paid for. I ain't come here to watch someone else do all the work. I came here to bury that cocksucker, just like we said. <laughs> Get your ass down, motherfucker! Is killing me. Right up your goddamn tail! 
Not Watch a out. lamb to slaughter. Get out of here, you stupid fuck! Now what are you gonna do? Cocksucker, you brought all this on yourself. These motherfuckers can't protect you, Georgie. It's over. These targets have got to go. Now, then, on our way. Down before you get dead. Downstairs handle this. It's what they're getting paid for. I ain't come here to watch someone else do all the work. I came here to bury that cocksucker, just like we said. Back here, dumbass. I'll go get him. Ah. 
Got any shooters to kick some ass out here? You call of course. Be there motherfucker. soon. Down before you get dead! He's fucking dropping us! Stick it, stick it, I tell you! You should not have come here! These motherfuckers can't protect you, Georgie. It's over. In position. Let's do this. Downstairs handle this. It's what they're getting paid for. I need some motherfuckers wiped out. Of course, be there soon. Down before you get there. I boxed in. Another lamb to slaughter. Oh, fuck. I'm here. Get clear! Behind you! Hot shit! These motherfuckers can't protect you, Georgie. It's over. Behind you! Come on! What you wait for? Let's go! God damn! I'm hit! I gotta go. Come here to watch someone else do all the work. 
I came here to bury that cocksucker, just like we said. Be careful, yeah? I ain't the one you need to be worried about. I need some motherfuckers wiped out. Can't right now. Sorry. These targets have got to go! You got it. We'll be around shortly. Ourselves a gift. Look who I found. Get some cover. Blast that fucker to pieces. Shot that. Uh, uh, Ourselves a gift. Stop that motherfucker. Oh, I'm here. I'm boxed in over here. You got it. We'll be around shortly. I gotta go.
Well, shit. Motherfucker. I always thought you were my friend. That you had me and Ellis's backs. It was just an act. You didn't kill me because I said no. You killed me because you thought you owned me. Owned all of us. It was never about us. It was about my old man. My father. I did anything for him. Same as you and Sammy. And you understand why I have to do this. alone in this world, Linko, but you're not, and you never will be. I need some motherfuckers wiped out. Of course, we'll be there soon. Get down before you get dead. Hell of a sight, ain't it? You know, when I first come to this town, it was nothing more than a backwater shithole. Now look at it. Let me see your hands. Whatever was between us is over, you understand? It ended the second it was you coming up them stairs instead of my son. You want a drink? All right. I had this imported from Scotland. <laughs> Single malt. Now, usually I'm a bourbon man, but I figured I'd order something with a little more class for when the casino opened. Not much of a chance of that happening now, is it? Don't look that way. Take a seat. I ain't going nowhere. Hey, not bad. I think I still prefer shine. 
You know, a month or so after my brother Lucho died, I started having nightmares. I had this one where I was on a boat. A giant wave come, knocked my ass overboard. I hit that water and sink like a goddamn rock. And there was another one where cotton mouths biting me all to hell. But the one that really got to me was Georgie's funeral. He's laid out in that shitty little casket. Neck cut, same as Lucho's. Yeah, that one really got to me. It'll come around again every three or four days. I have one where I'm back in Nam, sleeping in a foxhole. All of a sudden, these dark figures come out of the shadows. I try to fight them off, but they hold me down, tie my hands together, stuff a muddy rag in my mouth so I can't scream, can't warn the men sleeping next to me. And then I got to listen as all those men die. I would imagine that's not going to go away anytime soon. No. I imagine it won't. And this, this was all to try to keep mine from coming true. Look how that turned out. I buried a lot of people, more than I can count. The one I never wanted to see go down in that cold ground was my son. And yet here we are. Yes, sir. Here we are. My son is dead, and I'm having a drink with his killer. Now, I'm not going to apologize for what I did, you understand? If I did, I'd just be lying. I don't have it in me to feel shame for the things I've done to others. Never have. Didn't come here for an apology. Nah. I know you did. Goddamn, I was right about you, wasn't I? <laughs> I knew it the second I fucking saw you at the country club. Men like us, we're just wired up wrong. There's only one thing we know. One thing we're good at. I won't be waiting for you, Lincoln Clay. This won't be the last time we see each other. I know. What are you waiting for?
I take it you're Lincoln Clay. So they tell me. I told Sal this fucking casino would be the end of him. I meant it figuratively. This shit has a way of turning on you, doesn't it? Especially if you piss off the wrong person. <laughs> you know who I am, son? Guessing you're Leo Galanti. Take a little walk, you and me. Probably no surprise, but the rest of the commission wants you dead. You and anybody else that had anything to do with this. What happened here was between me and Marcano. Oh, I understand that, son. We all do. But this business makes you paranoid, irrational. They see Sally a pile of shit. They start wondering if someone's gonna serve them a plate of their own. So you're here to decide if you're coming after me? No. I'm here to deliver a message. You made your point, son. This all ends right here. Right now. I got no quarrel with y'all. Once a month, Sal kicked up 20% of his net cash only. Same man's been delivering it for, oh, I don't know, 40 years or so. I see no need in deviating from that, do you? No, sir. Well, in exchange, you run things as you see fit. Want to sell heroin, want a whorehouse on every other corner? Makes no fucking difference to me. The only thing that matters is 20%. And what if I decide to walk away? And leave all this behind? Then this will be the last time we see each other. Best of luck to you, son.
Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Him and Georgie both. Ha! <laughs> it's the best news I've heard in ages. Can we get an amen, Padre? So, what happens now? What do you mean, what happens now? It's over. Done. Finished. I ain't talking to you. Just cause Sal Marcano's dead, Lincoln, doesn't mean it's over. Now, what you did and the size of it all, you created a storm in this here city, and it's gonna take a long time for it to dissipate, if it ever does. With Marcano dead, New Bordeaux belongs to me. Ain't nobody left to stand in my way. <laughs> you, you can't be serious. The point of this wasn't to replace Marcano, it was to remove him. This city's done gone through enough, it doesn't need another you, Sal Marcano. this city? You've gotta be fucking kidding me. This city is a cesspool. It's where people come to fuck and drink and get high. You watch your filthy mouth. It's what the city is, Padre. If it's not giving another Sal Marcano, it's gonna shit one out. He's right. If it ain't gonna be me, it's gonna be somebody else. Probably somebody worse. Amen. Thank you. You remember what you told me when you came back from the war? How, how, how you wanted to, 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 to go to California? Leave all this behind? And just start all over? Yeah. Bro. Yeah. Well, it ain't too late, Lincoln. You can still go. Go! And don't look back. Listen, I'd love to stay here and debate the merits of one crime boss over another, but I've got a schedule to keep. Bit of advice, though? The scumbags you've been working with, kill them. All of them. Bury them before they bury you, buddy. I'll be seeing you, Padre. God forgive me for standing by you through all this, Lincoln. But if you do anything except leave, we're finished.
the top of Marcano's casino, looking out over the city he owns. After Sal Marcano's death, Lincoln Clay disappeared. <laughs> the Bureau deprioritized the investigation after a few months, but uh, I keep an active file. In 1971, I tracked him to a California shipyard where he was working under an assumed name. By the time we got there, though, he was gone. Uh, the trail went cold, and by 77, 78, I figured he was dead. But then I got a report of someone matching his description working with the Colombians. Since then, uh, there's a new sighting of him every couple of years. Lincoln made it out to California, worked at the shipyards for a few years. Met him a woman. Seemed like he was gonna get married, but then it, it all came apart. Don't know why. And he started moving around. He went to Alaska, New York, South America. He even went back to Vietnam. Hmm. I, I still get postcards from time to time. You know, I think Lincoln wasn't able to, uh, Accept the world for what it is, or his place in it. Someday, he's going to get tired of running, or make a mistake, and I'll be waiting. I promise you that. Hold my hand. Oh, baby, it's a long way down to the bottom of the river. Hold my hand. Oh, baby, it's a long way down, a long way down. If you get steep or if you get nice. The cock's gonna call in the morning, baby. And check the cupboard for your daddy's gun. Red sun rises like an early warning. The Lord's gonna come for something. Senator! Where were you when John Fitzgerald Kennedy was assassinated? I don't remember. At home, I believe. I don't remember. At home, I believe. Let me tell you where I was. A muddy hut in Vietnam. Slowly dismembering an old woman, cutting her apart bit by bit. And do you know why? Because her son was an NVA officer. And hurting her was the only way to make him talk. I don't understand what this has to do with... What he told with... us saved the lives of an entire platoon. That's 42 men. Men that lived another day because I was willing to take a saw to that old woman. 
Thank you, Mr. Donovan. I believe that... Get out and shut the fuck up! I did a lot of terrible shit over there. In the name of this country. Shit that will haunt me for the rest of my life. But I did it because I believed in the fight. I believed what this nation stood for. So, to be sitting there ass deep in mud with that old woman scattered all around me, and hearing that the President of the United States had just been fucking murdered, well, I knew right then and there that I couldn't let that stand. That I would find a way to make it right no matter how long it took. What are you saying? I'm saying that Sal Marcano and a group of conspirators murdered Jack Kennedy. Oh, that is the most absurd thing I have ever heard. I assumed you would say that. Don't fucking move! This... You're out of your mind. Oh, you... I don't hold anyone's ambitions against them, Senator. And you certainly were ambitious, weren't you? You went to law school, and then you became a district attorney, and then the United States Senate. After Sal Marcano died, I went through his files. Imagine my surprise when I saw your name over and over and over and over again! The mob wanted Jack Kennedy dead, and you were more than willing to help. There are cameras everywhere. There's witnesses. No, I want you them never to get see that, these stupid asshole. Because then they will know that I am not finishing with you. I am starting with you. Oh. 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 And they're next. <laughs> Gentlemen, get on, you fuckers!
I'm in Frisco Fields and need some new wheels. Aye. I'll get her out to you right away. Is that a Hot Wheels just like you ordered? That's a big help. Back to give you a taste of hardcore reality. Since the beginning, our primary goal has been to remind New Bordeaux about the reality outside your door, outside your neighborhood, to remind you that we are a city. And when one of us is wrong, all of us are wrong. When one of us is misrepresented, we all misrepresented. None of us know how long we got. So we best make good use of right now. And right now, I want to talk to the young bloods out there. These words I'm laying out are for the teenagers, the college students, our next generation of leaders. Those unfortunate folks out there, us old fuckers are leaving behind to clean up all that shit we've been piling up. First of all, let me apologize. We're not leaving this country or this planet in a better condition than when we slid out our mama. But we tried. At least some of us did. God damn, did we try. Every fucking day. Uh, show things ain't exactly as bad as they used to be, but here's the truth. I want my country to be a better place than it is. I want to believe that this country is capable of leading by example, that we're willing to hold ourselves to a higher set of standards, face the consequences when we fall short. I want to believe all those things. I want to, but I can't. As a country, we haven't proven ourselves to be willing to face the music when we fuck up. As a country, we a fucking child, a preschooler, a four-year-old who screams for a new toy, and then the moment he gets it, screams how much he hates it. We act like there's no country in the world greater than ours. Yet our politicians sit on their asses and do nothing about the problems of the people until they worry those people might rise up against them. We're just as bad as anyone else on this planet. Oh, no, 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 wait. That's not true. We are worse. We're worse because we have the potential for great things. We're worse because we actually have laws that, when practiced correctly, are built specifically to ensure the poor and disenfranchised voice is heard, that every vote matters, but more importantly, that every life matters. We have all this potential, but we waste it. We waste it fighting over skin color. We're cavemen, more interested in trying to prove who has the biggest dick instead of making sure every American has a fair shot. We an embarrassment. Uh, uh, sorry, folks. Seems I got a loud neighbor. So, what's all this mean for you, the next generation? Do better, try harder, learn from our mistakes. And don't be afraid of your own. Embrace your failures. Know that sometimes you gotta get bloody to fight for what you want. And if you gotta shake the pillars of civilization to make it right, then you shake, motherfucker! The voice of the holler is, and has always been the voice of the oppressed, the disenfranchised and ignored, no matter the race. But you gotta be more than a voice. You gotta be the voice in action. And never forget that when the holler speaks, you better listen. You don't have the right to come bandit in here. It's down on the ground. Fuck you, big. Nigga, you done fucked up now. Steady old part of the city when the sun reviews to shine.
Sal and Georgie are gone. And after all the shit we've been through, we run this city. After all the bullshit, it's almost impossible for me to wrap my brain around the fact that we actually did it. You're a fucking saint, Lincoln. And I'm honored to know you. No, that's the kind of news you never get tired of hearing. We're not here because of what I did, or because of what any of y'all did. We're here because we stood together. And as long as we stay strong, ain't no one ever gonna fuck with us. After he killed Sal Marcano, Lincoln Clay took over. But he wasn't content just to run the city. He expanded out across the South into Florida and even the Carolinas. There's so much money coming in, and he's been smart with it. He spreads it around, makes sure the right people get paid and stay paid. The city's favorite son, hmm? Yeah. Rebuilding the hollow, buying up Frisco Field, reopening the theme park, all that money and goodwill. He thinks it's made him untouchable, but no one is untouchable. He might have plastered his name across a few schools and hospitals, uh, made donations to a charity here and there, but nothing absolves him of his crimes. That's why I agreed to do this documentary. I want to shine a light on the real Lincoln Clay. Lincoln gave in to everything. Drugs, booze, prostitutes, you name it. He made a dollar. He was involved. Seeing him on the news, strutting around. Sometimes I, I think he should have died over at Sammy's with all the rest of them. That'd be uh, kind of a piece in that.
something. Senator! Where were you when John Fitzgerald Kennedy was assassinated? I don't remember. At home, I believe. I don't remember. At home, I believe. Let me tell you where I was. A muddy hut in Vietnam. Slowly dismembering an old woman, cutting her apart bit by bit. And do you know why? Because her son was an NVA officer. And hurting her was the only way to make him talk. I don't understand what this has to do with... What he told with... us saved the lives of an entire platoon. That's 42 men. Men that lived another day because I was willing to take a saw to that old woman. Thank you, Mr. Donovan. I believe that... Sit down and just shut the fuck up! I did a lot of terrible shit over there. In the name of this country. Shit that will haunt me for the rest of my life. But I did it because I believed in the fight. I believed what this nation stood for. So, to be sitting there ass deep in mud with that old woman scattered all around me, and hearing that the President of the United States had just been fucking murdered, well, I knew right then and there that I couldn't let that stand. That I would find a way to make it right no matter how long it took. What are you saying? I'm saying that Sal Marcano and a group of conspirators murdered Jack Kennedy. Oh, that is the most absurd thing I have ever heard. I assumed you would say that. Don't fucking move! This... You're out of your mind. Oh, I don't hold anyone's ambitions against them, Senator. And you certainly were ambitious, weren't you? You went to law school, and then you became a district attorney, and then the United States Senate. After Sal Marcano died, I went through his files. Imagine my surprise when I saw your name over and over and over and over again! The mob wanted Jack Kennedy dead, and you were more than willing to help. There are cameras everywhere. There's witnesses. No, I want you them never to get see away with this stupid asshole. Because then they will know that I am not finishing with you. I am starting with you. Oh. 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 And they're next. <laughs> Gentlemen, get on, you fuckers! <laughs>